morning, Frank. I think you're an hour ahead of me, so it's probably like 7-Eleven to you. Um, I bet you're parked outside of a 7-Eleven. <laughs> so this is, uh, I'm recording another Johnny's Corner thing with you. Um, I'm curious, so in, in, in Chicago, it's basically, the, the scene seems to be split in two. Um, and, and so South Side is, is black comedy, and then North Side is white. And then Mexicans and Asians are just sort of sprinkled in there. Um, and the north side of, of, of Chicago is really writing heavy. From what I've seen, it's like people, people have, they just they write, set up some punchlines and they're, they're very organized, it's very crisp. And, and they're just focused on essentially being clever and making sure the jokes themselves are, are up to snuff, I guess. And then the south side, is is performers and entertainers and there's it's it's more focused on like uh grabbing the audience and using crowd work and keeping the energy up and and obviously the jokes have to be i mean if you can do both then you're great but the the, the emphasis seems to be on the performing aspect of things and i don't know how um new york works at all have you has, is there a difference in terms of like areas that you perform at like the style of comedy or or is it all just one big melting pot of of styles Aaron, uh, i am not parked in front of a 7-eleven i am parked in front of a penske dealership <laughs> um i just woke up like fucking like an hour and a half ago i'm fine I, I go to sleep very late over here and i just saw this um yeah dude brooklyn is where all the theater kids are at. Like, Brooklyn is, like, all the improv kids or the theater kids and all the PC kids. So, like, a much more PC vibe, vibe of comedy. And then Manhattan is, like, the, you know, regular club comics and shit we hang out at. Well, I, I try to hit both, but I get very easily annoyed when I go to Brooklyn. I don't know if that's very uh, narrow-minded of me, but I, I still try to go... Go to go over to, to that side to hang out. As far as the Bronx, I'm not sure. I'm not, I haven't been up there. I haven't been to the Bronx. But um, I've met some Bronx guys. They come down here. But I, I don't know if there's really much I've seen up there. So I don't know if I could talk on that. Because I, I haven't even been up there. You know, it's funny. We have that little slice of theater kids and, like, improv kids as well out here i mean i know chicago's like known for improv like second city and stuff and yeah it has that same vibe too um i wouldn't i don't know if pp i mean pc is, is is definitely in the umbrella of that but it's a is this vibe of like middle upper middle class uh liberal white people you know what i mean that's the vibe of it, and from what I could, I mean, for, I, I I haven't been around it a lot. Um, I haven't been going to those areas. I, I need to start doing that more, actually. But from what I can tell, the like a lot of the stand up, like pure stand up comics, I guess, are don't seem to be a big fan of the improv kids, and the improv kids either seem neutral or oblivious to that. From what I can tell, and they're just kind of doing their own thing, probably because. They have money <laughs> to take classes and shit. And all, the comics all seem very poor and, and jaded, which is, you know, I think uh, reasonable. I have, it's early. It's early for me. <clears throat> you wake up at like, what, like, what have that been, like three in the afternoon? Two, three in the afternoon? Also, have you, I, I've been watching your clips and it seems like, it seems like you're getting much better. Like you're, you're very, you seem very comfortable on stage. Um, have you been learning any tricks? Have you, do you feel like you've gotten better? Because I do. I feel like I'm finding more of what makes me likable on stage. Um, like I'm, I don't know if it's, if I would call it my voice, but I'm gonna call it that right now because I don't know any any other way to describe it. But it does feel like I'm finding more of my voice and what works on stage. I feel like even when I'm in a situation that's not great, I, I seem to handle it a lot better. Um, and when I'm actually in front of real crowds, uh, it, it it's really easy 
for the most part. It's pretty it's pretty dope. Unless I'm like not locked in. 